everybody, this is Mrs. Warham. I hope you're having a fantastic day. One of the virtual tours that my children and I just recently took was to the San Diego Zoo. It was a lot of fun because they had live cameras of the animals and we were laughing at some of them. Um, so I thought this would be a great story to share with you today. And it is called Giraffes Can't Dance. Get that in your head. Could you imagine seeing a giraffe dance? How funny would that be? All right, let's read. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe. His neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. This way. He was very good at standing still and munching shots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really mad. He needs to watch some TikTok videos to learn how to dance. my children do. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps did all the cha-ching and a little Latin feel. The eight bamboos have teamed up in a splendid Scotch, Scotch reel. Gerald allowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. They looked at clumsy Gerald, the animals all snared. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. I think I need to work on some of their um, social skills, right? We wouldn't do that in our classroom. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. You're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before. So sad and so alive. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon was so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me? Coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His 
hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his legs out sideways and swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up into the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who had been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite surprised. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Go Gerald. Go, Gerald. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said when we find the music that we love. I hope you enjoyed this story and that maybe it gives you hope that you can do something too. I truly believe in each and every one of you as you are my true shining stars. Have a fantastic day, friends. Go ahead and try something new. You have time. Why not? Maybe it's a dance that you can learn. Until next time, third grade, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.